Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to talk about whether a keyboard and mouse or a controller is better for a casual gamer and really it gets very interesting now you know years ago back I would say around NES, SNES, even Nintendo 64 I would say the keyboard and mouse by far was a better choice up until the Xbox 360 controller, which is kind of where we're going to focus on that kind of sect of controllers onward. So there's obviously the two ways to play video games other than the phone. By the way, if you're a casual gamer, phone is by far a superior gaming device. But if you have to pick between a console and a PC, you obviously have the keyboard and mouse um, as an option where, you know, for some games like strategy games, keyboard and mouse are by far a superior way of playing strategy games over a controller. I hate playing strategy games on my Xbox with a controller. But an action adventure game, kind of a gray area. What about an, R an MMO? Kind of a gray area. I would still consider PC a better device for that. And it gets really interesting to me for first person shooters. That's kind of an area that's interesting. With first person shooters, while you have the, um, well you have a, you know, keyboard and mouse, something that really might mess you up is the button management on the keyboard side. And now if, you, if, you, if you've ever looked at a keyboard, you know, you have the w, WASD, then you have E, R, F, G, and sometimes other buttons like Q and Z, X, and C, okay? Now what makes this hard on casual gamers is the movement buttons. The movement, the fact that you have to use three to four, maybe even five fingers to control your movement and all the actions other than shooting and aiming and looking around gets hard on the casual gamers. So then you have the controller, like this bad boy right here. The controller, you have both the sticks, both the triggers, you just have less, less finger management on the controller. Now. The thing that makes the controller very disadvantageous is the fact that when I am moving, so let's just say I'm moving the stick, I have to reach over here and push these buttons, or I have to hold the controller like this and you know move the stick like this, play claw with this hand, it gets a mess. So, some people do, is they put buttons on the back like mine. And this basically means you are using a total of six fingers as opposed to the eight that you would use on a keyboard. Now, the problem with a controller is aiming sensitivity and how to aim with a controller. The problem with using a controller is you have to manage your sensitivity, all right? The sticks, you know, the difference between moving it a little bit and all the way are minute differences that will screw up your gameplay if you're not an experienced gamer. This is where keyboard and mouse comes in. Keyboard and mouse, you move the mouse as fast as you can or as slow as you can, all right? Me, on controllers, I these are high tension sticks, which means I have to pull really, I have to pull kind of hard on them to move them sideways. I still cannot play on the highest sensitivity. I can play on the highest sensitivity on a PC game, but not a controller, never a controller, because of the way that they're built. So when it comes to first person shooters, you know, aiming and stuff, that's kind of hard to do. When it comes to adventure games, I see it 50-50, you know? Lots of adventure games, like let's just take Zelda. And Zelda's obviously a Nintendo game, but an Xbox controller or a, or a keyboard and mouse for Zelda, I can really see, you know, kind of 50-50 on it. Because, you know, on the Xbox, you have all the buttons and stuff, but most of those buttons have one action and one action only. And on the keyboard, you usually have the ability to customize your buttons to whatever you need. Well, I, I consider the controllers pretty optimal at this point in gaming's lifespan. So, for a casual gamer, I think that for strategy games, always, always, always use a computer and a mouse for strategy games. Always. For an action adventure game or an MMO, use whichever one you like. I really don't think there's a big difference when it comes to those games. Um, you know, I didn't talk about like puzzle games. Puzzle games are puzzle games. They're whatever. Some of them are literally point and click. Now, for the first person shooter games, 
I would think that if you have a hard time managing lots of buttons, go with a controller. If you have a hard time aiming, go with the keyboard and mouse. That's what I say. I really don't see one or the other as a superior device, just because both of them have their weaknesses and strengths, and you really need to learn the weaknesses of one and then strengthen that up so that you actually know what you're doing. So I wanna know what you guys' thoughts in the comments below. This isn't really PC versus console. This is more of the input device. You know, whether a controller or a keyboard, you know, fits you. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more casual gaming videos because I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, stream, it, post up, whatever I decide to make.